Enough! You have troubled me for three blocks now, stranger. If you agree to cease this dogged pursuit and leave me to my lamentations, then I will answer your relentless questions. I will tell you why a dead man rides through the streets of Valencia. You see that castle on the hill? That is the home of Rodrigo Diaz, whom Moor and Christian alike call El Cid. It is from the Arabic Sayyid, which means Lord. He is the greatest man who ever lived. The Cid was a knight and loyal vassal of one of the old kings of Spain. When the old king died, his kingdom was partitioned between his surviving sons, Sancho and Alfonso. King Sancho ruled Castile, a windswept barren land named for its many border castles. The Cid continued to serve Castile and its new king, as was his duty. The sly King Alfonso ruled León, but openly plotted to become king of all of Christian Spain. There was soon open warfare between Castile and León. The struggle climaxed at the Battle of Golpejera, where the Cid attempted to capture the wicked Alfonso. Welcome, Rodrigo. The tournament awaits only your arrival to begin. Defeat my champion in combat, Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, and I will give you command of my army. Let the tournament begin! And Cid will fall to my blade. I would face the Cid, my king, with your permission. You would face him from horseback, hmm? Here, to foot? I will not allow that. However, if he wishes, I have a horse for Rodrigo in my stable. Rodrigo? The horse, Babieca, comes from the renowned royal stables of Seville. <laughs> a splendid sight! Now, go back to the task at hand. Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, the Cid, you will lead the armies of Castile. I am glad that you have won. You are the only man I would trust with a very important duty. Rodrigo, you know of my brother Alfonso. You also know of his ambition to rule all of Spain. I need you to travel to his castle at Colpejera, capture Alfonso, and bring him to me so that I may. Persuade him that ruling Leon is enough. Your army has assembled. Look! Degrado. Degrado. Voy. Voy. Degradar. Agora. Voy. Degrado. Construir. Our homes are yours, El Cid. Agora, degrado, degrado, agora. Hey! Agora. El Cid, we heard you were King Sancho's champion. We are at your disposal. Servidora. 
Jesse. of the seed's piety and would humbly join his service.
agora. Vai. Construir. Construir. Agora. Construir. Escavar. Santiago, sí. Ahora. De grado. Escavar. Sí, escavar. Servidor. Escavar. Talar. Talar. Degrado. Construir. Thank <laughs> you. 
My brother would have words with me? Since you leave me no choice, I will ride back with you to see. Cultivar. Aunque el Cid derrotó al ejército de Alfonso, el astuto rey sabía que había otras maneras tortuosas de ganar una guerra. Alfonso convenció mediante engaños a su hermano, el rey Sancho, para celebrar una conferencia secreta al amparo de las murallas de la ciudad de Zamora y lo mandó a asesinar por la noche. Con la muerte de su hermano, Alfonso se convirtió en rey de Castilla y León y, por ende, el rey más poderoso de la España cristiana. El Cid no podía confiar en el rey Alfonso, pero había jurado servir a su rey y ese hombre era ahora Alfonso. Obligó al rey Alfonso a prestar juramento sobre las sagradas escrituras, esculpándose de la muerte de Sancho. Nervioso, Alfonso lo declaró así ante su ejército y su corte. Con esto, el Cid le ayudó a consolidar su derecho al trono ante el pueblo, porque éste confiaba en el Cid. Pero el rey Alfonso no supo apreciar el gesto del Cid. En vez de ello, comenzó a sentir rencor contra el hombre que era el mejor de sus caballeros, por haber dudado de él. Alfonso también sentía envidia y recelo por la popularidad del Cid entre los soldados y la gente del pueblo. Una y otra vez envió al Cid a batallas peligrosas de las que siempre regresaba victorioso. <risa> 